Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Science for Everyone. Today, the topic is related to antimicrobial chemotherapy, and the title of my today's lecture is the extended spectrum penicillins. In the previous videos, uh, I have discussed the different type of penicillin. I have started from the mechanism of action of penicillins, and after that, I have discussed the different resistance. Of, of bacteria that were a uh, different type of resistance of uh, bacteria that were showing to penicillins. And uh, after that, I have discussed the natural penicillin, the anti-staphylococcal penicillin, amino penicillins. And today's lecture, I will discuss the extended spe spectrum penicillins and why they were introduced and what modification were done to these penicillins and what was their fruitful results, okay? So first of all, again, I'm showing you that this is a typical structure of the penicillin. It consists of two rings. First one is the beta lactam ring. The second is the thiazolidine ring. And uh, it consists of a variable side chain. Uh, just we make modification to this, va this variable side chain, okay? So why these uh, uh, oh, extended spectrum penicillins were introduced? Uh, first, oh, when there were, there were natural penicillin, they were acting well and they were killing the bacteria, but the bacteria sh start showing resistance to it in the form of the permeability. They were not uh, engulfing them. They were just taking, uh, just they were uh, uh, degrading the, those penicillin. After that, the anti-staphylococcal penicillin were introduced. The side chain was a bit modified. After that, there was resistance again then amino penicillins were introduced and am amino penicillin was also acting well. They, uh, the, uh, the perme perme its permeability was increased up across the cell membrane. After that, uh, there, were resistance, there was resistance to that amino penicillin. So then uh, extended spectrum penicillins were introduced and uh, just look here, uh, the R side chain was uh, uh, just replaced by the piperacillin and the picarcillin. Okay, these two are the different type of side chains. Okay, uh, what was the uh, importance of these side chain? They increase the polarity of the penicillin, and uh, the penicillin that were rejected by the porine proteins. Uh, the porine proteins are basically present in the cell membrane of the bacteria. And they allow the penicillin or they allow different type of nutrients across the cell membrane, okay? So the penicillin was also uh, taken inside the cell. But after that, uh, resistance were, was shown to penicillin. So these uh, those uh, side chain were replaced by the piperacillin and the tricarcillin. So when it was replaced, so the polarity was increased, the permeability of the penicillins were increased, so then they were uh, actively uh, engulfed by the bacteria, taken, in, taken inside the bacteria, okay? The second is that uh, beta-lactamases were acting against the penicillin and they were cleaving the beta-lactam ring. And we all know that beta-lactam ring is the principal site of the penicillin. When it is destroyed, all the penicillin is destroyed. So these uh, side chain were also blocking the beta lactamases okay they were blocking them and they could not act against the beta lactam ring okay just look here this bulky type of side chain uh, they were not allowing the beta lactamases to uh, to act against the penicillin and degrade it okay so they were given uh, these penicillins were quite fruitful for the human beings okay they were acting well and also, they are also acting well now because uh, very less bacteria has shown resistance to this piperacillin and ticarcillin, okay? This is all the text form. You can read it out. I have told you all the summary of it, okay? So you can read it out and you can use these as notes or I have taken it from a book, okay? So just look here. Uh, it was, uh, it was acting against the Pseudomonas aeruginosa and uh, different other type of anaerobes, okay? So it was having a brighter, uh, broader activity, okay? 
Now, just look here. This is the antimicrobial activity of the extended spectrum penicillin. Okay, just look here. The major major bacteria, therefore showing resistance to different penicillins are now susceptible to it. Just look here. The gram positive, the gram negative, and the extended spectrum, the anaerobic bacteria. Okay. Now, uh, they were effective, and they all are now, uh, at present time, they are effective. But uh, the penicillinases or the beta lactamases were modified, and then they start cleaving the beta lactam ring. So, what does the scientist do? They add beta lactamase inhibitors in combination to these extended spectrum penicillin in order to overcome this resistance. So tazobactam and the clavonate, they were, these are basically compounds and they bind to the beta-lactamases beta and they block their activity, okay? So it's a fruitful effect, okay? So then these inhibitors were used and the bacteria that were resistant to uh, extended spectrum penicillin were now susceptible to it these penicillins, okay? So the uh, Staphylococcus aureus, just look here, a Staphylococci species were uh, resistant to the resistant to the extended spectrum penicillin by producing beta lactamases. But uh, by the introduction of the beta lactamase inhibitors with combination to extended spectrum penicillin, now the, the Staphylococcus, uh, Staphylococci, uh, species are now susceptible to them okay also the clostridium deficient uh, these bacteria are also now susceptible to these uh, extended spectrum penicillin so now these penicillins are basically the modern penicillins okay they are used now and they are acting well and i don't know that uh, there are resistance strain to them or not and there is a chance that resistance will be shown to them and after that a new class will be introduced to the market okay but now until now this is the best penicillin that is used by the physicians okay a little bit about the uh, the reactions and the drawback and the back uh, side of the penicillin they are showing different uh, reactions okay means that uh, most of the people are allergic to penicillin okay so keep this thing in mind when a person is allergic to penicillin he or she will be allergic to all type of penicillin okay if it is natural penicillin if it is, if he or she is uh, he uh, he or she is uh, showing a reaction to natural penicillin so there will be a side effect and a cross reaction to all such type of penicillin okay because uh, the they are having the beta lactam ring that's why okay they are also having many many adverse reaction in the form of uh, uh, hepatotoxicity uh, and serum sickness rash fever okay there th these are the adverse reaction so you can use this uh, text form in your notes okay now, just summarizing all the videos I have made it about the penicillin. So the first one, just look here to this, uh, I will start it from here, okay? The first one, so the anti-staphylococcal penicillins are inactive against gram-negative bacteria. Keep this uh, point in your mind. Point number two, the natural penicillin have activity against Neisseria meningitis and some strands of Haemophilus influenza but fewer other gram-negative bacteria. I have discussed these uh, points in the previous videos, but here is a bit summarized form, okay? The third one is the spectrum of the amino penicillin is expanded to include these organisms plus some enteric gram-negative products such as E. coli, Pseudomonas, Mirabilis, and Salmonella, uh, uh, Enterica, Shigella species that do not produce beta lactamase. okay? The fourth is the extended spectrum penicillin are active against even more enteric negative rods, as I have told you. And the fifth one is the finally the addition of beta lactamase inhibitor to extended spectrum penicillin. Now, most of the 
bacteria are susceptible to them okay so these points are just expanding the susceptibility of different bacteria the bacteria that is susceptible to the point number 1 will be uh, sorry resistant to point number 1 will be susceptible to point number 2 okay and just like this okay so this video series was all about the penicillins the classes of penicillin the mechanism of action of penicillin hope you have understand it well if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box okay thank you very much god bless you